I'm so glad you could visit us here on the Octopod, Orson and Ursa. Uncle Barnacles, can we show Peso our new Polar Scout badges? Of course, Cubs. Peso, my niece and nephew have been working hard. Take a look. That's our Starfinder badge. We learned how to find our way using the North Star. And we got this badge for learning how to make a shelter out of snow. But you're really going to like the next one, Peso. The Seaweed Bandage Badge. <laughs> we learned how to make an emergency bandage out of seaweed. And we got to practice on a real live narwhal. Great work, Cubs. There are lots more badges that we don't have yet. And we're going to earn every single one, just like you, Uncle Barnacles. <clears throat> well, actually, I don't have every single Polar Scout badge. You don't? Really? Are you sure? There is one that slipped through my paws over and over again. I remember the first time I saw a walrus in trouble. Oh, my flipper hurts. I offered to help. Don't worry, I'll move. Move along, little polar bear. We walruses can handle this. Whoa! But I didn't give up. My tusk is stuck. I'd be happy to. Oh, get back, walrus emergency. And that's how it went every time. Just trying to. Oh, oh. Oh. Huh? Oh. <laughs> and so I never managed to earn my walrus rescue badge. But now, it's time for you cubs to earn your next badge. This one is for swimming through an obstacle course of ice flows. Let's go! Good luck, cubs! Here's your challenge. Swim through this maze of ice flows in under five minutes. I bet I can do it in four minutes. Bet I can do it in three. <laughs> Here we go. On your marks, get set. Huh? I think somebody's calling for help. It sounds like it's coming from the other side of these ice floes. Come on, Cubs, follow me. This could be a real Polar Scout emergency. And these balls are ready for action. Do not be afraid. We are Polar Scouts. And we are here to answer your call for help. We don't want help. We want our mums. Well, perhaps we can help you find your mums. Help us find them. No, no, we want them to find us. That's why we're making all this noise. What are you, anyway? We're walruses, of course. You're too small to be real walruses. Walruses are big. With big, pointy tusks. These are walrus pups. Oh, so they're babies. But we're still 100% walrus. Understood. Where did your mums go? They went to find food. But they've been gone for a really very long time and now we're hungry. Very hungry. Really very hungry. Hmm. Let's see if we can spot your mums out there. Why don't you just go looking for them? We're too hungry to swim very far. And anyways, our mum said to wait right here and not move. So we're not moving. <laughs> An iceberg. And it's moving fast. Our mum said not to move from this ice flow. Well, they didn't say what to do if the ice flow moved. I know what to do. Hey! 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 hey. hey. Cubs, would you sound the auto alert? Octonaut to the HQ. Octonaut, the Cubs and I are on a runaway iceberg with three walrus pups. The pups are too weak from hunger to swim very far. And we got to sound the auto alert. We need to get these walrus pups to safety. Captain, we've located your iceberg. We'll be there as soon as... Uh-oh. Shiver me whiskers! You're on a crash course with two other icebergs. Oh, no. When the icebergs crash into each other, you could all get hurt. 
Quasi, Peso, take the Gup S and catch up to us as fast as you can. And please bring something for the walrus pups to eat. They're really very hungry. Tunip, you and the Vegimals can help me prepare some bottles of walrus pup formula. <coughs> We're on our way, Captain. To the Gup S, mateys. <laughs> up to that iceberg and fast. Ready to mix up some Walrus Pup formula. Rubble, rubble. Iceberg's getting really close. Too close. Move to this side, everyone. No, it's really very close. Hold on, everyone. This could get bumpy. Cubs. Watch out! out. Ah. Got it. Oh, everyone, move back. Ah. Barnacles to Quasi. Are you getting close? We're under the icebergs now, Captain. Yeah. It looks like you're trapped right in the middle. And running out of room. Use the ice drill to break through the ice. This scurvy ice is too thick. Turn on the heat, Quasi, so the drill melts the ice as it goes. Heating drill now. That speeds things up. Hold on, Captain! <laughs> Don't worry. Help is on the way. We're getting really... very squished. <laughs> My mum always holds me flipper when I'm scared, and I wish someone would hold me flipper now. <laughs> Here, take... My paw. Oh, thanks. That's better. Quasi! Need a lift, mateys! Just in time, Quasi. Come on, everyone. Into the gut S. Activate bottles. And now we need to find their mums. They may have returned to the ice flows by now, so let's start there. Excuse me. <laughs> I think I can help. I don't think so. No, nor me neither. Oh! Easy now. Ladies, I don't like the looks of this one. Oh, here we go again. Mum! 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 Oh, there you are! Oh, little Otto! Oh, what a relief! Oh, God, oh thank goodness! Oh, you are right, love. We waited a really very long time, but we were carried off by a really very big iceberg. And then Captain Barnacles and his friends saved us! Huh? He does have that hero look about him, doesn't he? Ladies, how can we ever thank him for saving our pups? Hug! Wow! <laughs> there it is! The Walrus Rescue Badge. Well, well done, done, Uncle, Uncle Barnacles. Barnacles. <laughs> Peso, 
Be sure to keep an eye on your little brother. We're going to have so much fun, Mum. We're going to play games on the octopod and we're going to... All right, Pinto, but we can't play right now. Captain Barnacles and the others are out on a mission and they need my help. There's an injured fish who needs a medic right away. Pinto, promise to do whatever your big brother tells you. And Peso, good luck on your mission. Love you. Love you too, Mummy. Bye, Mum. Wow, a mission! This is just like the time those baby sea snails were in trouble and you saved them. Remember? You were a big hero. Oh, I wouldn't call myself a hero. Well, how about when you have to take care of animals that are big and scary? You have to be really brave to do that. Well, it's all part of the job. Can I come with you? Please, please, please! I don't see why not. As long as you stay out of trouble. I will. Oh, wow! Thanks, Peso! Captain, I'm on my way. And I've brought my little brother Pinto with me. Ah, very good. We'll see you both in a few minutes. Pinto, scarf off, helmet on. Good to see you again, Pinto. Hi. Glad you're here to help out your brother. Where's the patient? Right this way. I bet it's a barracuda, or a devilfish, or, or maybe even a giant octopus. Oh. That's the patient? Uh -huh. Say, ah. Uh... <sighs> I reckon it's really, really serious. Can you even talk? Uh, actually, I've got a bruise on me fin. Pinto, would you please hand me your stethoscope? A thermometer, tongue depressor, body cast! Just a bandage roll, please. There, that should do it. Dashi, can you please take a picture so I can show my friends what a hero my big brother is? No problem. You should rest. Would you like to come back to the octopod with us so that you can get better? Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Good work, Peso. And Pinto. We still have some exploring to do around here. See you later back at the Octopod. Wow, an anglerfish. <gasps> What's that? Are you a snake or an eel? Uh, hey guys, would you come over here and help me work out what I'm looking at? Hey, what is that? I wonder what that was. It was huge. Ah, oh, a tail like that can only belong to one thing, mateys. The dreaded monster of the deep known as the Nakawak. The Naka what? The Naka whack. He's as big as three whales set end to end. Each tooth is the size of a dolphin. And he's crafty. Knocks over ships just for the fun of he does. Ah, oh, come on, Quasi. You don't really believe all that, do you? Don't I? I bet that Naka whack comes back for a sneak attack. And if he does, I'll be waiting for him. Well, it's a mystery, all right. And one we need to investigate. Professor Inkling, are you there? Yes, Captain. How can I help you? Dashy took a picture of the tail of a mysterious animal, but none of us has a clue what it might be. It's the Nakawak, I tell you. The Nakawak. She's sending you the photo right now. Oh, most intriguing. Let me take a look through my books and see what I can find out. Thanks, Professor. Barnacle's out. Hello, Professor. Would you like to join us for a little game of table tennis? Uh, oh, I'd love to play, but I'm too busy searching for a monster. A monster? Where? Well, Quasi thinks it's a monster, but it's probably just a creature we've never seen before. Do you need any help? Certainly! Why don't you go through this book and look for deep sea creatures with very long tails, while I go through this one? And I'll keep an eye out for any monsters. Look, over there! No, just another anglerfish. We're going to have to go deeper. Hi, 
right into that Nakawak's lair. Inkling, have you found anything yet? Not yet, Captain. It's getting hard to hear you. Inkling? Captain? Oh, the radio doesn't work when they're down that deep. Excuse me, but the monster you're looking for, is it long? Yes, extremely long. And does it have shiny silver skin? I think so, yes. Does it have red spikes on its head? Red spikes? Whatever made you think of red spikes? No! Oh. Ah. <coughs> Sound the Octo Alert! Sound the Octo Alert! Octonauts, to your stations! Octonaut, who sounded the octo alert? What's wrong? I'm sorry, Captain, but we saw the monster. It was right outside Professor Inkling's window and... Ah, we have to get back to the octopod now. Hang on. Long tail? Red spikes, silvery skin? Of course! Now I know what it is. It's an oarfish! An oarfish? I've never even heard of an oarfish. That's because they're so rare. <laughs> you see, Pinto? I told you it wasn't a monster. Pinto? Where did he go? Oh dear, I know where he's going. And we'd better catch him before he gets there. <laughs> Stop! Pinto, what do you think you're doing? I'm looking for the monster. It's not a monster, it's an oarfish, and... <gasps> wow! That's the longest fish I've ever seen in my life. I don't think the oarfish feels very well. Listen, he's crying. Let me check. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Orfish, are you all right? Oh, no, I feel awful. Why did you follow us back to the octopod? Oh, I wouldn't usually, I'm kind of shy. But when I saw you take care of that other fish, I thought maybe you could help me too. Of course I'll help. What's wrong? Oh, my throat, it really hurt. And I'm the longest fish in the ocean, so that's a lot of throat. OK, let's have a look. Say, ah. Uh... Ah. Wider, please. Ah. Whoa! Oh, vast! It's the Nakawak! And it's got peso. We have to save him. Your throat is all red. I think all you have is a bad cold. Why don't we... Yeah! Don't worry, Peso. I won't let the knackerwag hurt me, little buddy. Whoa, whoa, Quasi. False alarm. This isn't a knackerwag. Huh? It's an oarfish. The longest fish in the ocean. <laughs> you mean you weren't trying to eat Peso here? Ah, of course not. I only eat tiny things, and besides, I don't have any teeth. Look! Ah. I knew that. Now we just have to work out how to fit him into the sick bay. Amazing! The oarfish can keep his body straight up while he swims. Teal looks good down here. How do things look up there, Peso? Looks good, Tweak. Ah, oh, I'm feeling better already. He is incredibly long. I can see why you might think he was a sea monster, Quasi. Yep, my brother's a hero, all right. He helps any creature who's sick or hurt, from the smallest fish to the longest. And look, Pinto, I took that picture you wanted of him so you can show your friends. <laughs> Come in, Quasi. 
Have you collected those seaweed samples? Aye, Captain. And I'm heading back to the octopod right now. Huh? Shiver. Whiskers. I thought I was a hotshot pilot, but these little fishies put me to shame. Octonauts, can you see this? They're sardines, Quasi. Sardines always travel together in a school. But how do they all stay together? The scales on sardines' skin help them feel when other sardines are near them. That's how they stay together when they move. Yeah, a triple curly cue with a half bike squiggle. I've got to try that. Quasi out! Now I'm going to show these little fishies some moves of my own. Ha ha! Get a load of that! A super fast flip turn with a backwards loop? Not bad. Hey, I topped that! You run! Backwards roll over with a one-and-a-half inward split! <laughs> you swim almost as well as a sardine. You're not too shabby yourself for a little flipper-flapper. The name's Dina. Quasi. Maybe we'll have a rematch someday. You're on. Well, better get back to my school before they... Uh -oh. Did you lose your school? Well, I'll be glad to help you find them. No, thanks. I'm sure they didn't go too far. Bye, Quasi. Bye, Dina. Be careful, matey. Mmm, lunch is served. Ugh! Not so fast, ye scurvy shark! Oh, no, lunch is cancelled. Oh, thanks, Quasi. I guess it's not so safe out here without my school. They say there's safety in numbers. True. That's why we sardines always travel in large schools. Then, when a fish who wants to eat us shows up, we swim in lots of different directions so it doesn't know who to follow. Clever. There's only one of me, but I'd be happy to take you safely to your school. That's very nice of you. Fast. There they are now. I know a shortcut through this old shipwreck. What happened? I'm caught in this old fishnet. Are you hurt, Quasi? Nah, I just bumped my head. Don't you worry, I'll get myself out of this mess. Yeah, <laughs> stuck. Maybe I could chew through the ropes. No, Dina, you go on ahead or you'll lose your school again. Nope. You didn't abandon me when I needed help. I'm staying here with you till I know you're okay. You're a brave lass, Dina, and a good friend. I'd better call the octopod. What's wrong, Quasi? Well, I hit me head, the gup is trapped, and a little sardine is in danger because she lost her school. Other than that, everything's fine. Hiya! Sounds like you need a hand. Dashy, sound the octo alert. Aye, aye, Captain. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, we've got an emergency rescue, first aid, lost sardine situation. Uh -huh. Oh, I'll explain on the way. Tweak into the gup D. Peso into the gup E. Okay, right yeah. oh, Captain. Dashy, open the octo hatch. I'm on it, Captain. Your school is here. Hi, you could call them that. How's your head, Quasi? Do you feel dizzy? Sleepy? How many fingers am I holding up? That's a trick question. You don't have any fingers. Great. You don't seem hurt, but I'm still going to check you over as soon as I can get in there. That's where I come. Thanks, everybody. But where are my manners? Octonauts, meet my new friend, Dina. 
Dina, Octonauts. Hi, everybody. Sorry if I caused any trouble. Nonsense. The Octonauts are always happy to help. Quasi, which way was the sardine school heading? They went that way, but they could be anywhere by now. Barnacles to Shellington. We've lost track of the sardines. Is there anything that could help us find them again? Yes, Captain. I believe we can find the sardines by listening for their burping sound. Sardines burp? Actually, yes. Sardines and many other fish swallow air to help them stay afloat. But when they want to sink lower, they burp the air out again. Captain, you should be able to pick up the burping sound on the Gup's underwater microphone. Now, just listen and be very quiet. I don't suppose the sardines are taking a nap? No, that's just an elephant seal snoring. What's that, Shillington? That's just a crab clicking its claws. <coughs> ah, burping. Dashy, can you tell us where it's coming from? I'm on it, Captain. Straight ahead, near a coral reef. Then that's where we're heading. Barnacles out. Dina, we may have found your school. That's good news. Best be on your way, Dina. But I don't want to leave you here, Quasi. I'll be fine. On with my school, remember? And you need to be with yours. Go on now. Thanks, Quasi, for all your help. Anytime. Stay safe out there. Just follow me, Dina. The burping is getting louder. We must be getting close. Don't tell me seahorses burp too, Shellington. Uh, actually, lots of fish do, Captain. We must have picked up seahorse burps instead of sardine burps. What if my school is so far away we never find them? Captain, the burps you hear now are coming from somewhere above you. This could be your school, Dina. Let's go. You must be very close now. My school! I can feel them with the scales on my skin. There they are! Whoops! Almost forgot to say thank you. And please thank Quasi for me. Don't mention it, Dina. Helping sea creatures is what we do. Bye, Dina. I'll let Quasi know you're all right. Here you go, Quas. You're free. Come in, Quasi. We found Dina's school and she's safe and sound. That's happy news indeed, Captain. Everything looks good here. See you back at the Octopod. Mmm, breakfast, lunch and dinner is served. That shark looks hungry for sardines. I've got to help them. Oh, no! Uh, um. Hmm, they're swimming in different directions to confuse the shark. Uh oh, more sharks. Looks like the sardines could use some backup. Calling all gups, sardines in trouble. Octonauts, I don't know if I can hold them off by myself for much longer. You won't need to, Captain. Octonauts, follow the sardines' lead. Swirl and confuse. Over here. This way. Catch me if you can. That way. Oh. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner cancelled. Hooray! Yay! Quasi, I'm so glad you're okay. And I'm glad you're okay. I guess we both needed our schools to help us. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Could you practice 
somewhere. Uh... Yeah. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, we need to. Yeah. Fascinating. That's a type of whale called an orca. Look, there's another. And another. And another. Remarkable. We've attracted an entire pod. What's a pod, Professor? It's a group of orcas, Peso. The pod helps each other through thick and thin, rather like the octonauts. We've got to bump him back. Let's talk before we bump, Quasi. <clears throat> Greetings, orca friends. Please, do not bump our ship. <laughs> That's enough. Everyone back. I'm terribly sorry. Is your ship all right? Yes, thank you. Is his head all right? Oh, that one's hard-headed. He bumps first and asks questions later. Very brave, though. Hmm, sounds like someone I know. We're curious about your ship. We heard it make an interesting sound. Oh, you mean the Octo Alert? No, more like this. <coughs> oh, um, that, that was me. I was having trouble on my accordion. We thought it sounded quite lovely. Oh, thank you. Octonauts, who wants to go out and meet our new friends? Want to race? Ah! Oh. Okay! <laughs> hey, you didn't say go! Heading straight for the beach. Oh my, that's not a good place for an orca. Maybe I can stop it before he gets there. Can have a head start next time, but I'll still win. <laughs> uh, 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 just let me get turned around here. Uh, dear, give me a push, will you? I. Uh... Oh! Are you all right? Hi, Captain. But I can't get the orca to budge. Oh, I don't feel very well. Is it just me, or is it getting really hot? Quasi, there's a bucket in the gup. Will you grab it and pour some water over the orca? He needs water to stay healthy. Aye, aye, Captain. If I could just... <laughs> oh. oh, no, I'm stuck. And I can't stay out of the water for long. Don't worry. On my honour as an octonaut, I promise that we will get you off this beach. In the meantime, Quasi will keep you cool. Oh, thanks. Octonauts, the orca is stuck on the beach. Our mission is to get him back into the water. Until then, we must keep our whale friend cool and wet. I'm on my way, Captain. Tunip, if you don't mind, I could use some help from the vegimals. 
The orca is too heavy to move himself when he's on land. If the orca can't move himself, we'll have to move the orca. Tweak, we need you here as soon as possible. Right away, Cap. Hey, I hear my pod calling to me. Oh no! All of the orcas are heading straight for the beach. Quasi, keep pouring. I'll be right back. Orcas, stop! Please, let us pass. We must go after our cousin. If you go too close to the beach, you'll get stuck as well. We're his pod. Members of a pod always do what they can to help each other. You can count on the Octonauts to bring him back to the pod safe and sound. But there must be something we can do to help. Well, I know it cheers him to hear your voices. Maybe you could sing to him. All right, Captain. We shall sing to him. The orca is too heavy to move when he's out of the water. We've got to figure out a way to pull him back out into the ocean where he belongs. We're going to need rope. Lots and lots of rope. I'll contact the octopod and ask them to bring all the rope we've got. There's no time to lose. Ouch! Now, you listen here. <laughs> you don't have to hide. No one will hurt you. This beach belongs to us crabs. You and that giant thing must go, go, go! It's getting hotter and hotter. Octonauts, grab the ropes. Hmm. Ready to test, Cap. Octonauts, take your positions. On my signal. One, two, three, pull! Ow! Stop, stop! Oh. That really hurts. Captain, I don't think it's enough to pull him. Now, if we could get the ropes under him, we could lift him up. Hmm. We need a way to tunnel under the sand with the ropes. I think I know who can help us. Attention, crabs! You crabs have a special ability to tunnel under the sand. Will you use it now to help the orca? No, he got himself into this. He can't get himself out. Ah! Let me help you. There you go. Well, that was uh, really quite helpful. Thank you. So, are you with us? Okay, sideways, march! Octonauts, let's do this. One, two, three, four! Again, one, two, three, four! <laughs> one, two, three, four! Yeah, it's working! Keep pulling! Captain, our pod is grateful to you and your pod. You can always count on the Octonauts to help. Remember to call on us if we can ever do anything for the Octonauts. Shall we practice our special signal? <laughs> Goodbye, Orca friends. Goodbye, Captain. Until we meet again. I can't wait to see how my biggest patient is doing. Ah, I can't wait to see if your patient's really as big as you say, Peso. Here we are. 
The coral reef. Where's your patient? Captain, I don't see anything big. It's right here, Quasi. My patient is the coral reef. What? Of course. Coral reefs are made of coral, which is alive. The coral reef needs a checkup just like any other creature. That's true. The coral reef is home to lots of different animals. So if anything happened to the coral, they'd have nowhere to live. Aye, that is a big patient. Hmm. Hmm. That's not good. What's wrong, Peso? This coral is turning white, Shellington, which means it's getting sick. There's another white spot over here. <gasps> Peso, you'd better take a look at this. No! The entire coral reef is getting sick. If anything happens to it, all these creatures will have to find a new home. There's only one thing to do. Quasi, Shellington, I need you to find me a small piece of healthy coral on the seafloor. Aye, aye, Peso! Let's go. Captain, I'll need to borrow your hydro drill. What are you planning, Peso? An emergency coral transplant. I drill a tiny hole into the sick coral. Here you go, a piece of coral. Perfect. Now, I'll put this piece of healthy coral into the hole and... There! That's a coral transplant. The piece of healthy coral will help make the sick coral better. Look! Great! We've saved the coral reef and just in time for lunch. I don't think so, Quasi. Look at all those white spots. I'm going to have to do a lot more coral transplants to make this reef healthy again. And we're going to help you. Let's sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, the coral reef is sick. Our mission is to help Peso do as many coral transplants as it takes to make it healthy again. But the coral reef is huge. What's the plan? Dashi, you, Quasi and Tunip will search for healthy pieces of coral on the sea floor. Shellington and Professor Inkling will sort through them to find the healthiest ones. Then Tweak and I will drill tiny holes in the reef and Peso will put the coral pieces into the holes. Now, everybody got it? Got, got it! it. Octonauts, let's do this. If we all work together, the reef will be healthy again in no time. <laughs> Aha! Another piece of coral. Ah, just a sea sponge. Oh! Spiky sea urchin. <sighs> Sorry, little urchin. These coral pieces are harder to find than I thought. Oh, what was that? Hmm. <laughs> huh? Hmm. Someone's playing a trick on me. <laughs> huh? Shiver me whiskers! <laughs> you should have seen the look on your face! <laughs> Dolphins, what's the big idea? Playing tricks on me while I'm... Oh, we were just playing around. What are you doing here anyway? Want to play with us? We're blowing bubble rings! Yeah, I'm too busy to play right now. Well, suit yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very funny. There's a pirate here trying to work. Thank you, Dashi. Have a look at this one, Shellington. Ah, this one looks very healthy. I'll put it with the other red ones. Ah! Ah! Jumping jellyfish. Ah! Ah! Oh. <laughs> Tag, you're it. <laughs> oh, my. There you go, Peso. Thanks, Tweak. Steady, steady. What you do? Lappity flippers. Yeah. Cool. You want to play catch? That's one of our favourite games. Here, catch. Whoa, careful with that. 
Sorry, dolphins, but we've got work to do. Maybe some other time. Oh, there's got to be someone who wants to play with us. Come on. We've been working for hours and we still have so much more to do. At the speed we're going, it could take days to finish. And these dolphins aren't making things any easier. Barnacles to Shellington. These dolphins won't leave us alone. Why are they acting like this? It's normal dolphin behavior, Captain. Dolphins are curious creatures. They... Ooh, what's this? They love to play with each other. And make up new games. <laughs> hey, everybody, check this out. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a sponge on my nose! <laughs> sponge nose, sponge nose! Sponge nose, sponge nose! Hmm, <laughs> 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 there! <laughs> oh, this is starting to get out of hand. Attention, dolphins! We have very important work to do. If you could please just... Hey! You can't catch me! Oh, enough is enough. Oh! Whoa! Um, easy now! I just want to um See how long you can hold on! Hey! Whoa. Look out! Whale shark! Straight ahead! Oh, nice catch. Thanks. Are you okay? Yep. Thanks for the warning back there. So, what should we play now? Sorry, but playtime is over. We octonauts are trying to save the coral reef. I need to get back there. What's wrong with the reef? It's very sick and we're trying to help it. We find pieces of healthy coral and put them into tiny holes in the reef. Oh, so that's what you guys were doing. Find the coral, put it in the hole. Hey, that kind of sounds like a game. Can I play a help too? Hmm. Well, we do need all the help we can get, but um, what could you do? Find the coral, put it in the holes. Find the coral. Hey, I found a piece. Ah, that sea sponge on your nose is a pretty good tool for finding coral in the sand. Found another one. Do you think you could show the other dolphins how to do that? Of course. Grab on, I'll give you a ride back to the reef. Let's go. Ready, everybody? Ready. Ready. Ah, ready. ready. With all of us helping out, we'll be finished in no time. is starting to look healthier already. Hooray! Great work, everybody. Dolphins, we never could have done it without your help. There's just one more thing. What is it? Tag, you're in! <laughs> <laughs> Say, ah, oh, please. Ah! 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 You're both perfectly healthy. Captain, these sea cucumbers can go back to their rocks now. Okay, let's go. Thanks. Huh? 
Ivan, I could use a checkup. Of course. What's your name? <laughs> My name's Dorian. Careful now. I'm an old jelly. I'll be very careful. <laughs> I could use a little uh, snacky snack. <gasps> oh no! Ah! Oh, this is too scary for an old jelly like me. <laughs> huh? Now, where'd that jelly go? Uh... Dorian, is that you? <laughs> what happened to your tentacles? Are you all right? Do you need help? <laughs> Captain, Quasi, follow that baby jellyfish. Uh, why are we chasing after a little baby jellyfish? A couple of minutes ago, he was a grown-up jelly, but then he turned into a baby. But grown-ups don't turn into babies. But I saw it with my own eyes. I know who might be able to explain it. Shellington? Shellington here, Captain. Shellington, take a look at this. That's a baby jellyfish, Captain. Yes, but a few minutes ago, he was a grown-up jellyfish. He was frightened by a sea turtle, and then something very strange happened. The grown-up jellyfish changed into a baby jellyfish. Yes. Jumping immortal jellyfish! Don't lose sight of that baby jelly! Right, I'll need my nightcap. I mean my notecap. Ah, I mean my notebook. Huh? Oh! Uh, 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 tunip, sound the octo alert! Octonauts, to the Jelly Bay! <laughs> the Jelly Bay? Uh... about Jelly Bay, not a lunchable. Oh, oh, thanks, Tunip. Uh, one more time. Octonauts, to the Launch Bay! <laughs> Shellington, what's going on? Captain, this is so exciting. You found an immortal jellyfish. I, you, you still have him, don't you? <laughs> right here, safe and sound. What's so exciting about it, matey? An immortal jellyfish can do something no other creature can do. Turn back into a baby and start its life all over again. So that means an immortal jelly can live forever? Yes, unless something eats it. Don't worry, I've got it. Captain, the immortal jelly is the only creature in the world who makes this amazing change. I've never had the chance to see one for myself. Until now, we'll keep this baby immortal jelly safe until you can get here. Thank you, Captain. Octonauts, let's do this. Oh. Uh. Oh. <laughs> uh, wait, uh, where's my notebook uh, and my magnifying glass? Oh, oh, thanks, Tunit. No, no, I'll drive. Tweak, open the octo hatch. Be careful, Shellington. Oh, don't worry. Right. Uh, oh, 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 that's better. Captain, I'm on my way. I'll be there as fast as I can. All right, Shellington, but don't worry. We'll take good care of this baby jelly. Now all we have to do is to wait for Shellington. Do, 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 do. Shellington, Shellington. Oh, where are all those bubbles coming from? <gasps> oh, 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 oh. Yeah! Oh. oh, no! Where's Dorian? There, mateys! We've got to catch that jelly before the whale swallows it. No, it's heading for the whale's mouth. <laughs> Time for some tickling. Tickling? We'll tickle the whale to keep his mouth open long enough to grab the baby jelly. Quasi, you take the tail, I'll take the belly, and Peso... I'll take the jelly. Let's go. Activate Tickle! <laughs> yeah, got 
Who's the baby immortal jelly? Oh, he's doing just fine. Except that he almost got swallowed by a whale. <gasps> swallowed by a whale? <laughs> Don't worry. The baby jelly is safe and sound. It might be a good idea uh, to set him down somewhere on a nice, secure... Rock! Rock! Yes, a growing jelly goes through big changes. First, the baby attaches to a rock. Next, it turns into a polyp. And then the polyp turns into the grown-up jelly. Understood. We'll find a rock then. And I'll see you soon, Captain. Shellington, out. Out, out of the way! <laughs> <laughs> I'll just get us going again. Uh... <laughs> the gup's not working. We need another way to travel. Swimming will take too long. Rista, rista. Booster packs. Good thinking, Tunip. Activate booster packs. <laughs> Whoa. This looks like a good spot for the baby jelly. Here you go. No. <laughs> I think he likes it, matey. <laughs> wow. Yeah, man. No, that's more like it. Dorian, is that you? Of course it's me, man. I've just been going through some changes, that's all. I've gone from a baby to a polyp. And it won't be long until I'm all grown up again. I hope Shellington gets here in time to see it happen. Uh, not uh, far. Oh, no. Let's boost uh, our speed. Ah! Oh! Oh! I broke the booster packs. I'm sorry, Tunip. Shadow! Tunip? I found a rover! The bar! Oh, good thinking, Tunip. To the coral reef, please. Next stop, the coral reef. And you better hold on tight! <laughs> what is it, Dorian? I'm feeling a little funny. You don't have a fever. Does anything hurt? Are you hungry? Or oh, sleepy? No, no. It's, it's like I need to sneeze or, or hiccup. Oh, make a change. Oh, this is it. <laughs> Shiver me whiskers. <laughs> Look at me. I'm all grown up. And Shellington missed it, Captain. Oh no, that sailfish is coming right for me. <laughs> oh, amazing! I got to see him turn into a baby jelly right before my eyes. You got here just in time, Shellington. Super, super. Well. We hit a teeny bump here and there, but mostly it was smooth sailing. Right, Tunip? <laughs> I'm Captain Barnacles. I, matey. Come on, everyone join in. Right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> 